fact, it's the most expensive crisis the nation has ever faced. In fact, as a percentage of our GDP, it's the worst deficit since World War II. We'll bring up a few graphics here and give you and the viewers a better understanding of exactly what this all means. Now, bear in mind that the Treasurer, Josh Frydenberg, was hoping to hand down a $5 billion surplus. Well, now he has a budget deficit of a whopping $90 billion. That will blow out to $190 billion by 2021. We're talking now, Pete, and this just gives you chills, of a gross debt of $850 billion for the nation. That's money taxpayers will have to pay back. The combined budget blowout, $280 billion. The only good news here is that mining is significantly up. What do you read into that? The likes of China are spending massively on infrastructure to boost jobs. We'll give you a couple of quotes. These quotes are from the Treasurer and the Finance Minister, Matthias Cormann. On the revenue side alone, company tax receipts are expected to fall $25 billion over this financial year and the last financial year. Then we learn what, what's happened in Melbourne and how that has impacted the economy. The restrictions... Well, the reintroduction of restrictions in Victoria will reduce real GDP growth by around 3.3% in the September quarter. Staggering, Pete. The government or Treasury says that uh, the money that they have spent, the $164 billion in spending, has saved around 700,000 jobs. They're going to need every one of those jobs, Pete, mm. if they're to pay back this debt, yeah. which is going to take at least a generation.